Sunday blessings everyone grace ministries here uh, today I did not upload a video earlier um, I just wanted to relax with the Lord um, for Sunday dinner and I normally don't do this but I will for today I made a recipe that I found on YouTube and it's a, a pizza dip um, it's a hot dip it's got sausage pepperoni uh, spinach all kinds of cheeses etc but let's get to what I want to talk to you about today. This is very important. This is 911. This is very specific. The devil is trying to stop you from getting to your destiny, and we're not going to have that. For the past few days, hours, weeks, and months, he has tortured you, he has made you feel like you're not going to make it. He has made you feel like everything that you do is failing. He's tried to take away your finances. He's tried to take away your family, your friends. Let me tell you something. I need to talk to you specifically today. God is such a good God. You've gotten the warnings. You've been hearing the word. If you give up now, then you have, you have done nothing. You cannot give up now. God is a good God. He will never leave you. Every day that he get up and give you the breath of life is a new day. He's got some new things, some new mercies. You got to come out that darkness and go into the light. And if you're already in the light, you got to stay in the light and encourage others. And that's what I want to talk about today. There are people that go through things daily. Daily, all day, every day. From living with autism, living with mental illness, living with addiction, living with afflictions physically and mentally. Every day that God gives us, sometimes we take it for granted. But even if you are not going through any kind of affliction or anything right now, things are blessed, then you need to pray for others. Be strong for others. Because everything goes in a full circle. One day we're up, the next day we're down. Sometimes we're in the middle either going into a trial, coming out of a trial, or in the middle. I want to talk to two types of people today. If everything is great for you, spread that out, the word of the Lord, that yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for providing in everything. And if things are bad for you, I want you to do the same thing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for always providing and never leaving me. We can be up or down on any side of the spectrum, any day, any given time. Happiness, peace, joy, and pain. We thank the Lord. He's the only one that can make it all come together for all of us through our cycles of whatever we go through. Either you are the encourager or you need encouraging. Either way, we're going to all be on both sides. Only our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can keep us while we are in the top, the bottom, or even the middle. I have a challenge for you this week starting today. If you're on the upper end right now and things are great for you, go out and encourage a 100 people this week starting today. Call them, text them, and just say, I love you. Things going to be good. God is here. He'll never leave you. God bless you. If you're on the lower end, then I want you to just say, thank you, Lord, that I'm still here. I didn't let the enemy go on and take my life, my soul, my spirit. If you're in the middle, then do both. Encourage others and also say, thank you, Lord, and help me on whatever my weaknesses are, whatever I need, which is coming more closer to you, God. Y'all, we're in the last of times. We're in perilous times. It, it, it's a wrap. It's history repeating itself. Until the Lord's second coming comes, and he is definitely coming because he's not, he doesn't, he doesn't like what we're living and how we're living. He don't like how we're living right now. He's not pleased. That's why we got all these earthquakes and catastrophes and the weather is hot when it ain't supposed to be, cold when it ain't supposed to be, from here to there, all over the north, south, east, and west. God ain't happy with us. He's very displeased with us and our sins. And we are praying that God turn his face to us and heal us again. Heal our land again. We've already had the pandemic. There are more plagues to come that will be even worse. 
But we ask God right now in a state of, Lord, help us to be able to be in positivity, meaning that you bring us out of our sin. And if we can't control our sin, we ask God to control that sin for us and bring us back to an expected end that is of the glory of the Lord. I hope you join Grace Ministries today. Uh, check out some of the older videos. May you be richly blessed. I love you, all of my older family members and my newly subscribed family members too. I pray to God that we come together and that we just trust in the Lord and that the Lord brings us through and to where we need to go. Sunday blessings. You have a wonderful and blessed day.